Halfway to 2030, the promises enshrined in the SDGs are in peril. Where do we stand? The world has entered a poly-crisis era, and SDG progress is threatened by the climate crisis, conflict, a gloomy global economic outlook, and lingering COVID-19 effects. The latest assessment of the SDG targets paints a concerning picture. 15% are on track. 48% are moderately or severely off track. And 37% have stagnated or regressed. The world continues to grapple with lingering COVID-19 effects. One in three people worldwide struggle with moderate to severe food security. 25 million children missed out on routine immunizations in 2021. Six million more than in 2019. And four in five countries studied saw learning losses. COVID-19 has also triggered the largest increase in between country inequality in three decades. The world could face big misses across the goals by 2030. Under current trends by 2030, and gender equality is still 300 years away. At the current rate, it will take 300 years to end a child marriage, 286 years to close gaps in legal protection and remove discriminatory laws, 140 years to achieve equal representation and leadership in the workplace. The earth is at a tipping point and we are standing at the brink of climate calamity. Heat waves, droughts, flooding, and wildfires have become far too frequent. The rate of sea level rise has doubled in the last decade, threatening hundreds of millions of people in coastal communities. We are at war with ourselves and nature. We need to safeguard our ocean, and preserve biodiversity. War and conflict are inflicting a devastating toll on the SDGs. As of December 2022, over 108 million people worldwide have been forcibly displaced from their homes, 2.5 times the number a decade ago. Developing countries and the world's poorest and most vulnerable are bearing the brunt. As of November 2022, 37 out of 69 of the poorest countries were in debt distress or at high risk of it. Progress in some areas illustrates promising potential for further advancements. 800 million people connected to electricity between 2015 and 2021. 146 countries have already met or are on track to meet the under-5 mortality target. Effective HIV treatment has cut global AIDS-related deaths by 52% since 2010. Unleashing innovation and technologies powers progress. Medium-high and high-technology industries demonstrated robust growth. 95% of the world has mobile broadband access and two in three people use the internet. We must make the next seven years count. We can and must turn things around, but the clock is ticking. To deliver a rescue plan for people and planet, the Secretary General has identified 
five key areas for urgent action. One, recommit to transformative SDG action. Two, advance inclusive policies for equality. Three, strengthen capacity for SDG progress. Four, recommit financing SDGs for all. Five, strengthen UN system for SDGs. World leaders will unite at the SDG summit to forge a rescue plan anchored by three transformative breakthroughs. Equipping governance and institutions for sustainable and inclusive transformation. Prioritizing policies and investments that have multiplier effects across the goals. Securing a surge in SDG financing and an enabling global environment for developing countries. For more information, please see the Sustainable Development Goals Report 2023 Special Edition.